say this is like uh, the best M5 yet because you never had had these extremes between the M5s so like super comfortable with automatic four wheel drive fully autonomous driving to a hardcore complete 625 horsepower maybe on the wheels crazy rocket to the left which gives you power, 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 power. And consistently delivers like 3.2 seconds to 100 kilometers per hour on GPS. And by the touch of a button, you can also have a two wheel drive. And uh, I mean, bit some up. One bill for a while. Let's go. Du ska bromsa upp den också. Ja. Färgen på natten så är det sjukt ut. Yellow dog. Okej, okay, let's see. Det var du, erkänner att det var fint i början innan det där, det här hände. Så snygg. No dogs anymore. Man får inte jättekonstigt på vår. Jag vet inte, jag vet inte om ni ska hem, så kan ni väl bara gå in och filma deras. Vänta, 
確かに。OK、nothing in the park。Night vision works。Okay, final run. Maybe 10.4 again, 2.2, 100. Okay, Jag får prova en repa till då. Ja, sista. Ja. Vad är det jag får sista? Vad är det för dig då? Eller måste jag ge ut det? take out as a stats to see it on uh, on a diagram as well quite nice on the M5 is that the whole rev see the consumption is pretty alright below 0.9 liters per 10 kilometers um, if you put in a destination the RPM counter actually disappears kind of like the Panamera counter driving disappear. Maybe I was blipping too much on the iDrive. So you can see here a little small navigation comes up. Here. No, there.
Rev Counter became a navigational instructional item but still works as a rev counter except that the 7000 rpm is somewhat covered and now everything got covered hmm. that's pretty brutal I like the red bar there with it goes down. And for the record I turned off the heads up display. I think that's distracting. Maybe I have it on too strong, maybe that's why. And this autonomous driving on M5, as I said when I drove the E63S formatic, you really need you really need this autonomous driving on on these super highly powerful cars because it's a license saver. That's pretty convenient as well with the uh, Q traffic completely autonomous. Now this couldn't be the smartest road to choose since we got stuck in a queue. Let's gonna see how my little consumption is still quite low. I'm kind of impressed by this efficient dynamics. Pretty good average, last like 550 kilometers. But I'm gonna do another, take another way, because this way really sucked. So in 20, like 3 degrees heat, I managed to do 10.4 0 to 200. The M5 competition, 3.2 0 to 200 all day. That's just spectacular. I mean, if it's a bit cooler, I think it would do. Maybe 10 flat, 0 to 200. Some bugs have been killed, some fans are on, but I think acceleration-wise this car is crazy. I mean, what's the temperature? Twenty-two and a half degrees Celsius.
And this is totally correct color for this car. I mean, it's a really sporty color. Have a look. Maybe we should let the heat dissipate from the engine. I mean, it's a stock car. How could it do 10.4 zero to 200 in this heat? That's just super impressive. Now I wonder how, hmm, with some little cooler weather, I think it's really able to do sub zero 10 seconds, zero to 200. It's just crazy. Made in Germany.
M5 E28 and M5 competition. 286 horsepower versus 625 horsepower. Straight six, normal aspirated, rear wheel drive compared to V8 twin turbo, both are on petrol and both have M5 logo, one in silver and one in black with addition of competition. And the E28 does not have the aerodynamic package, so it is as low key as it could be. And what is the name on the short one? Diamant. Yeah, Diamant Schwarz versus a little less subtle. Snapper Rocks Blue, but both are from the BMW M5's palette. And uh, we have a look at the interior. Red. Nyckeln. Red interior or orange. And we have in fact orange here as well. Bad uh, på så så lyser. Uh, interiören. Uh, Eller du kan starta nu Okej, okay, let's hear the straight six. And get some more revs. No, no Vano sound. There is no Vanos. Gorgeous. We must have a look. Wow. to 3000 RPM. And, oh, and let's, uh, let's do this, that we close this and we rev to 3000 RPMs on the younger generation M5. And it's a start and stop button. And we should put on everything in sport. We should close the door. Let's see if we can do that. Yes.